combat zones. The Cheetah helicopter has no competition. If not for the Cheetah, maintaining troops in the world's highest battlefield may have been impossible for India. The Cheetah makes more landings at 20,000 feet in the Siachen Glacier than any other helicopter. Seeing it soar effortlessly over this barely 10 feet by 10 feet, it may be hard to believe that this is a chopper designed way back in 1980. And it was essential during the 1999 Operation Vijay in Kargil and the ongoing counterinsurgency operations in many parts of the country. CATS is the cradle where a select group of combat army officers trained to become daredevil aviators. Stick is called cyclic stick. This control here is called rudders. And you have a control here which is called collective. I'll go it again. Collective, cyclic and rudders. If I move this to right, it goes right, the aircraft nose goes to the right and if you move it left, the aircraft nose goes to the left. The cyclic will be used to change the direction of the aircraft. The collective will be used to take the aircraft up or down as you raise it or lower it. Let's have to train on the Cheetah simulator. This simulator helps trainee pilots learn flying without wings. The simulator has proved to be a blessing for the Indian Army. It allows its officers to learn flying in a completely safe, realistic virtual environment without exposing them to risks associated with actual flying by novices. Three nervousness for especially when they've already said that if you don't clear the simulator part, you won't get to fly the helicopter. So this is very important. So we are all very serious and we are all very nervous also and very excited also. So that's a very important uh, combination. The fully automated simulator recreates a wide range of terrains and weather conditions, exposing the trainees to challenges that they may not encounter during the duration of their course. 